welcome back ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel hit that subscribe button if you are new this is dr games you call me dr for short in today's video i'll be showing you how to create a six nine point guard in nba 2k 23 in next gen this builder here i'll be calling my kevin durant build this builder here is six foot nine with hall of fame quick first step with silver limitless range this is a catfish build that we will be making here. Okay, first things first here, you wanna set your position to point guard. Pick whichever hand you prefer, whatever number you prefer. Okay, let's get right into the body settings right here. For your height, you wanna go all the way up to six foot nine. For your weight, you wanna drop it down to 202 pounds. Any lower and you won't be able to get Hall of Fame quick first step. For your wingspan right here, you wanna drop it down to two seven foot. For your body shape, pick whichever you prefer, but for me, I'll be going with the defined body shape. Okay, now into your stats right here. First things first, go to driving dunk. You want to put it all the way up to an 86. 86 right here will get you limitless takeoff on gold and a silver posterizer. Now on to post control. This right here is the important part on how to get your quick first step on Hall of Fame. Max this out at 99. Okay, now on to your shooting stats right here for your three-point shot. You want to put it all the way up to an 85. Right here at 85, you'll get silver limitless range, and you also have gold guard up. Okay, for your mid-range shot right here, you want to put it up to a 75, which will bring you up to 20. Shooting badges, now on to your playmaking right here. For your playmaking, for your ball handle, you want to max it all the way out at an 87. Speed wheel ball, max it out at a 75. Pass accuracy, you want to put it all the way up to an 80. Okay, now on to your defense right here. Your defense will be the little bit of a weaker spot for this build, but you'll still be able to play solid defense against guards. Your perimeter defense, you want to put it all the way up to an 86 to get you silver clamps and gold challenger. Okay, now for your defense rebound, you want to put it all the way up to a 70. And your block, you want to put it and get all the way up to a 73. Okay, now for your speed, you want to max out at an 82. Max out your acceleration at a 78, skip the strength, go down a vertical, bring that all the way up to an 82 to get you all of your contact animations. Now for your stamina here, for me, nor I so far I've been putting my stamina around 88 range, and for me it has been working pretty fine. Okay, well these last extra batch points are here, you can kind of place them wherever you please. But for me, I'll probably be going up to the free throw and max it out because even if you add it up here to your stats it won't really change a whole lot so i'll be throwing it down to the free throw range right here to get me my free throw up a bit higher so i'll be able to hit these more consistently in rec so right here you get a total of 18 finishing 20 shooting 21 playmaking and 12 defensive badges don't forget you still get your extra plus four from completing the welcome to the league challenge Okay, let's get into the testing part of the build right here. For your primary take, you have the options of limitless range, spot of precision, extreme clamps, perimeter badge drop, enhanced jump shot contest, power back downs, post playmaker, advanced post moves, post shot dagger as well. For this build here, I'll be going with limitless range for the primary, and for the secondary, I'll be going with extreme clamps to help out with the defense on this build. And right here, get the shades of Shay Gillis Alexander, Penny Hardaway, and Lonzo Ball. And what you get yourself right here is a three point shot creator. This build is very much a catfish build, folks. Okay, let's get into the test portion of the build right here. Okay, first things first, let's max it out at a 99. And I can show you how you can run the badge setup for this type of build. You get a total of 18 badges for your finishing. First things first, you want to put limitless range on gold. For now, I'll just be throwing Fearless Finisher on Bronze and Pro Touch on Bronze just to get the 10 badge points that you need. Okay, now down to Tier 3 right here. You want to get this badge right here and put this on as your core badge. 
So now you have eight badge points left. So now you want to go back up. I would recommend putting on Masher as well because you are going to be taller than a lot of the guards. You have five badge points left right here. I would honestly throw on Drop Stepper just so you push around the little guards in the paint. I'm going back down to Pro Touch, putting that back to a gold. But you can always switch these up to fill your playstyle. This is what I would probably normally run on this type of build. Now until you're shooting a total of 20, which is plenty enough. First things first here, guard up, you want to put that on gold. Green Machine, you can put it on gold, but for me personally, I don't really run Green Machine that often, so I'm going to be going with MIDI Maestro on gold and throw Amped on silver for now to give me that 10. Now I'm going down to Limitless Range, throwing down as my core badge. Alright, you get a total of 10 badge points left. You can run whichever one of these you prefer, but for me personally, I haven't been running Lim... I have not been running Deadeye or Blinders, and I'm shooting pretty fine. Catch and shoot, you can run that if you feel like it will help you more on your catch and shoots. But for me personally, I'm, I shoot a lot of off dribbles. So I'll actually be going back up to Amped, throwing that on to Gold. And with these badge points right here, you also get Agent 3s on Silver. So I'll be throwing that on Silver just to have a little bit more fun in Park. Five badge points left. I'll be throwing on Volume Shooter on Hall of Fame. And with this last one right here, I'll be just throwing it on to Clutch Shooter on Bronze. Okay, now on to your playmaking badges right here you get a total of 21 playmaking badges first things first hall of fame quick first step hall of fame ankle breaker got 11 left now we're going to hyperdrive putting that on gold we got a total of eight badge points left going down to clamps breaker putting that on gold and coring it now to handles for days you want to put that on silver you have a total of two badge points left which you can place wherever you want but for me personally, I'm thinking I'm going to probably downgrade Angle Breaker to Bronze. I mean to Gold. And I'm probably going to be throwing on Gold Dimer. But if I don't want to run Angle Breaker, I'll probably take Angle Breaker off and throw it on to Floor General. Okay, now let's get into the Shooting Badger here. Let's get into the Defensive Badges right here. For your Defensive Badges, you get a total of 12. Which is good enough for me personally. I would go on to go with clamps on silver. For me, the tier 3 badges are good badges, but for this type of build, my type of place, I won't really need these. So I'll be throwing challenger as my core badge right here. That'll be five badge points back. You have a total of eight left. Going up to ankle breaks. Going up to ankle braces. I'll be throwing that on Hall of Fame and also be throwing on Menace on gold. You have one badge point left, you can place it wherever you want, but we just throw it onto pickpocket. And keep in mind, you still have the extra four badge points left over for once you complete the quest. So you can place them wherever you want. If you want to increase your defense, go ahead and increase your defense. But for now, for me on this build, currently I get all the badges I want. So personally, for me, I'll probably just hold on to those extra four badge points until I max out my build, then place those badge points at the end once I max this build all the way out. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is the video for today on how to create a six foot nine catfish build in NBA 2K23 next gen that gets Hall of Fame quick first step, silver limitless range, silver clamps. This build right here will be a pretty solid lockdown defender with the takeovers as well. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is the video for today. If you all enjoyed the video, please smash that like button. Hit the subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you won't miss out on any future videos. Can't wait to see you on the next one. Goodbye, y'all.